Hey there, welcome back. I don't know about you, but lately I've been feeling the squeeze of constantly rising food costs. So, to offset some of the food costs, I've been trying a few different projects. Some of them 3D printed. Well, most of it 3D printed. I'm sure some of you will find this very interesting, so let's take a look. Oh, and by the way, sorry for not posting any videos for a while. I just had surgery and i kind of been out of commission for a bit. Alright, this one's my mini ebb and flow system I've been experimenting with. This one is also driven with the airlift pump and has a one piece printed bell siphon. Although the bottom spigot is glued on. All these rings are epoxied in and the, they just, the net pots just sit in here. Don't mind the uh, temporary lighting. This is all just sort of an experiment yet. Seems to be working good. It takes about two or three minutes to fill up and another two or three minutes to drain. So it, it seems to be m matched pretty well for everything. As you can see, there's the airlift pump. And this one doubles as the fish filter or the fish water filter as well. And these guys are the source of nutrients for the plants. I currently have lettuce growing in this one as well. This system still needs a little bit of work, some fine tuning, but the parts are all available except for the ends. I haven't posted those yet, but I will do that in the future. Because this is just a generic, I don't know, I think it's two inch square tube or two and a half square tube. Just really, really thin wall nylon stuff. I'm not even sure what it's from. It came in some lotus scrap. So this is the first hydroponic system I ever worked on. It's a little crude, but kind of does the job. I had some minor success with the original setup, and then I just kind of shelved the whole thing. It's kind of a deep water culture NFT hybrid. The water level kind of goes up to about here, and then just drains out this tube on this side. I'm using this airlift pump that I designed. This is about the third iteration or fourth iteration of it, I think. And, well, the filter that goes in the bottom of it to feed the hydroponic system or aquaponic system. And the nutrients come from these guys. Currently, I only have the two plants living in this. The one on the right is lettuce that I've grown from seed which I just wrapped the seeds in paper towel and stuffed them in the lava rocks. And the one on the left is basil that I got from the grocery store that was a little beat up and I cut clippings off and put them in water, you know the drill. And they rooted so I stuck one in here and it seems to be perking up a little bit so hopefully it catches. This system uses an older net pot design. This is about two inches. Oh well, it fits in a two inch hole saw hole. You can get these STLs on Thingiverse and the links will be in the description below. If you wanna, you know, try something similar yourself. And here we go. Last but not least, my newest addition to my hydroponic projects, the mini grow tower. This one as well. Uh, you can't really see it in there is fed by a airlift pump so nothing but this guy feeding it this system is mostly 3d printed short of the jar and the tube obviously and can be arranged in a multiple different uh, arrangements multiple heights whatever you want I don't really know what the limit to the airlift pump is with this amount of water so I might have a little bit of an issue with you know getting too high so I only went with the two just to experiment it seems to work good and this is something you could stick on your kitchen table or in a countertop like it's pretty compact you know the size for reference of my hand here that's not very big and as per the other three two two I've posted all the files on the internet, Thingiverse and Cults 3D, for anyone who wants to follow along, try out themselves. And the next thing I'm going to do is assemble the next one, because I have an empty space here for another jar system like this. 
All right, we're back over at the bench, and I'm going to assemble this for you so you got a rough idea how it goes together. First off, for this application, I bought this jar at well, the dollar store. Uh, you know, two bucks, dirt cheap. They work pretty good. I've used them for other hydroponic experiments, and that's why they're painted to cover any roots that I had in there. Probably still a good idea to keep algae and whatnot out if you're going to use a glass jar. But what I need is to steal the ring out of here, just this threaded part. So I'm going to have fun and try and cut this out of here. All right, a little bit of rust on that, but it's okay. I'll clean it up later. So, I'm gonna take this ring and I glue it with the shoulder downward on this piece here. Now I'm using super glue. You probably get away with a bunch of other stuff. And yeah, screw that up, eh? I'm gonna stick the jar on top of it to hold that down. Alright, so where's the next step? I guess I'm gonna glue these guys together. Now uh, you preferably set them up so that they're off like that so the light goes down and around them better. Now that'll harden up, super glue hardens up pretty quick. Now I gotta put this end on the bottom, but we gotta wait for our glue cap here so let's see how that is. And it's still not ready yet. Well, I'm going to wait for that. Alright, it's been a few minutes. This should be dry enough. So, as I throw that around, I need to put this in here first, and then glue this onto here. You don't have to glue it, but I'd recommend it, as if you don't, and something happens, it could knock everything over. I mean, it, it goes together pretty snugly, but... For comfort's sake, I'd like to glue it. Alright, so that's together like that. Now, you can feed the hoses up. So, we have one hose for the line in, this one for the air in, and this one for the water up. So, you need to flip this upside down and feed this through the holes. Which is easier said than done. Now this could be done through the top too. Might be easier that way. I don't know. This could also have been done before you glued these parts together. Probably would have been a good idea. But there we go. Well, looks something like that. Now for the top. It just goes on with the barb. And it presses onto the top of the rest of it. I wouldn't glue this part on. As if you ever need to take it apart to clean it or you want to, you know, change the arrangement a little bit. It might be kind of a pain if you did so. I mean, I guess you could always just reprint another one. So that just sits on there like that. Go like that. Oh, and I've got to feed this through the uh, hole there. Alright, and that's that. I don't want to 
I put that too tight yet. And okay, apparently that's not glued on yet. Wonderful. Well, from this one, that's more or less all you guys need to see. Anyways, now I'm going to be hooking up a regulator on it to kind of fine tune everything the best way I can. I found the, the regulators, well, just these little you know, stopper regulators seem to work the best. Now, if you've seen the prints already on Thingiverse, you've noticed that there's a couple different bases and a couple different parts. The uh, same top for the other one is going to work on this one. The only difference is this piece needs uh, any sort of G quarter or G one quarter fitting and your uh, water coming from whatever tank or feed system would go through here and then back up through here and then from here it would go through the hose into this cap here and then you know you print the base it screws down this should just sit in it and that should be it hopefully and well that should be it if you guys got any questions uh, post them down in the comments or post them on the comments on my thingiverse again all of the files are listed in the comments as well as timestamps for particular points and this assembly video well hope you guys liked it have a good one see you guys later